Okay, so let's get started. Uh, as I have said many times, there's two technologies that are changing many things in our society. One is called artificial intelligence and another one is called blockchain. So I do recommend, I will be sharing my views about those technologies, but I do recommend that all of you will follow as much as you can those technologies because it's almost guaranteed that you will work with them in some shape or form in the future. Uh, as I said yesterday, we had also a small workshop. I said that it's much more interesting to start earlier than when everybody else is doing it. Okay? For example, in the Spanish market, uh, if you start now digging into it, uh, you will be amazing position in a few years and so on. So I started myself, actually I studied here, um, it was the other building uh, 20 years ago. I'm now 62 years old. No, just kidding, <laughs> but almost. And, uh, but anyhow, it was a long time ago. And when I went to Spain, I was always uh, interested on how to use internet. And, um, and what happened is that I noticed that social media started growing because back in the day, for example, having an online video was extremely cost, costly and extremely difficult. And I saw one company in the US having video on their website. This was like 15 years ago or more. And I was like, wow, they have a video. So I started to learn myself and so on. And then all of a sudden happened MySpace, which was before Facebook. And I started to give uh, workshops on how companies and people could use Facebook and, and Twitter and, and YouTube and so on and so forth. And one thing I learned is that it's nice to be kind of like a pioneer, even though you don't have everything under control and even though you don't know all the details, but it's always interesting to start earlier rather than later, right? You, I think you said this yesterday. The same goes with AI. So we don't have all the information. Uh, there's not like a perfect course about AI. However, everything you can learn now will be giving you huge gains in the future. Okay, really, really important concept. Same goes with uh, blockchain and, uh, and these two technologies really will give many, many good things. Another thing I want, want to highlight, I was talking for some students, some of them I was asking, so how is AI? So they said, it's kind of like Terminator killing all the humans or Skynet and so on. And I was like, wow, that's not a really good starting point. So the problem is, hello and welcome. So the problem is that we see, we learn and we think that we learn about AI from Hollywood movies. Okay, remember Hollywood movies have one objective and that's to make money and to entertain. Okay, their, uh, their objective is not to teach people or show how things are and so on. Welcome. So uh, that's, that's really, really important. And remember that even if you see a lot of negativity on the news, most of the things are positive. And I would even say that do not spend all your day reading the typical newspapers, okay? Uh, in Helsinki, in Finnish language, that would be uh, like Ilta Sanomat, Ilta Lehti, uh, Helsingin Sanomat. If you only base your knowledge following those, some things might be okay and others are not, right? So you do want to also read books that are on Amazon, you want to listen to podcasts and you want to go deeper and find that information in other places because that's how you grow and you get to the next level and, and so on. So yesterday I was talking about this concept that there's a digital economy and all of you 100% will work on a digital economy, okay? The problem is that most people have a mindset of uh, traditional economy. Traditional economy is going downhill or is stagnated and digital economy is growing up <coughs> and it's growing. Hello? No problem. You're welcome. Yeah. So uh, digital economy is going up and in addition there's all the time more and more opportunities in digital economy. Okay? Another interesting thing for you to think is that uh, when we think about, for example, assets, okay? Many of you will have some assets. It's highly likely that 10 years from now, most of you will have digital assets, okay? So think about it. Your assets, whatever they are, will not be, hello. Okay, it looks like there's a constant flow of new people. So we are doing something good here. They are maybe promoting it in the, in the lobby or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we keep the door open. So anyhow, uh, think about it. In the future, your assets will be digital. Really interesting. Okay, uh, one of them are, for example, in blockchain and cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, all of them are digital, and it gives some benefits, and it also gives some some challenges. So, with that, uh, many things will happen simultaneously, and uh, what will happen is that there's a lot of confusion as people don't understand these technologies. You have to see that as a really big opportunity for you. So what happens is that we will have like 10 different exponential technologies. Exponential means that they are growing exponentially. They are all happening simultaneously. And a lot of people who are still in the traditional economy, think, thinking inside the box, they think that, oh, world is crazy and I better go to sleep and, and never go out anymore and, and so on because they feel confused and they don't understand what's going on. So your job is to understand how these technologies are changing the world, changing the society, and provide solutions. As I was just also talking with some colleagues, remember that AI is not only for some really good data scientists who are the best coders in the world, it's for all of you, okay? Because ten, not even 10 years, five years from now, the same AI will be doing the coding. If you only focus on writing the code of AI, you will be left behind, right? The real job is to get uh, ideas and think about how things are changing <coughs> and, uh, and uh, give ideas on how society can use different things. When I say ideas, there are hundreds and thousands of ideas on how everything is changing. What's happening in this picture? What would you say? Ah, uh, it's just like a smart car. That it, it's like a, if it saw another car, it will slow speed. There's not no going to be like accident. Okay. No collision. But what's happening? What is the guy doing? I think he's sleeping. Yes. So, for example, these kind of things we will see quite soon, and we will see self-driving uh, cars taking people from one place to another. Yeah. And this goes back to the thing called smart cities. Okay, Finland. Uh, Helsinki first is one of the places which is working most with uh, smart cities where we will have smart transportation we will have even something called smart vertical agriculture so rather than buying tomatoes that come from Spain you are probably growing your own tomatoes using vertical agriculture and this means that many things will change in the society, but it also means a lot of things will change for the companies and they will need consultants and people helping them like you and so on and so forth. Today I was talking for 500 people in Kulturitalo about how the uh, financial sector is changing. You know in financial sector AI will be eating many jobs, right? So we were talking about this, but I said uh, the good thing is that right now companies can create AI solutions, meaning AI applications, and rather than thinking about iPhone apps and Android apps, you should all be thinking about voice-based apps. Okay? In Finnish, this is Ani Ohjaus. It will be the next huge platform. And basically, in the US already 40% of the search, which happens on Google, used to happen by typing and now people are talking, okay? Because Amazon Alexa and Google Home, most US uh, families already have it in their home and all of you can create apps for this. It's easier to create app for Amazon Alexa than to Google Home, but your job would be to recommend companies to get to thinking, number one, how they are being found when people are searching them on Google using voice, okay? It might be different than when you search by typing. Number two, how companies would be found in these new devices that will change everything, like Google uh, Home and Amazon Alexa. We are moving to voice-first world, okay? Voice-first world, and people who get this before, it's like I said before, people who understand this first will be those who benefit. The same as, you know, in 2007, I was saying to people that 
this social media is really interesting. I think it will be a big thing. And many people, you know, who are living next to me, they say, oh, that's boring and stupid and that will never work. And today they are asking, like, how can you have so much work? And I said, you know, it's that thing that I said to you many, many years back and so on. So again, this is a thing. We don't have all the information. There is not like university career that you could have about how voice is changing everything. But uh, I do recommend you to focus on it. Uh, for those of you who speak Finnish, there has been some articles in, in Helsinki in Sanomat. Uh, in Finland, they will start selling this Google Home device next year in Finnish language. Okay? When that happens, everybody here says, oh, voice is really big. But it's really good that you already know it, okay? one year before. In Spain, they started to sell it in, uh, uh, this summer. I don't know when it's coming, of if people are using it in, in South Central America. But for example, in Spain, uh, people said, yeah, I want this, even though they don't know how to use it. And <laughs> I, I also bought it, and we don't use it that much. But anyhow, it's cool to have. Uh, and I'm learning how to use it. I play, for example, Spotify with it, and so on. Yep. Uh, what devices do you have connected? <coughs> Uh, yeah, somebody should give me a class on that, but uh, I only have Spotify and my Google account and, uh, and that's about it. Because you should have, yeah, you should buy other things and you can connect your whole home and then you can say to if your kids are in the other room, you can like connect those voice devices. So you can say that, hey, say to the kids that the food is ready and it connects and say to the kids where that are in the other room and, and so on. I have just Spotify myself. So these are the device itself is the name is Google Home and the technology behind it is called Google Assistant. So in general it said that the Google Assistant and the Amazon, as Amazon Alexa are the two best uh, personal um, assistant. But remember this is the same thing that like in the beginning of the internet it was extremely slow uh, nobody could use it, uh, it didn't work, uh, it was horrible experience. The same we have now. And many people say that it's stupid. And I even say myself, like sometimes my wife, we are saying that put this playlist in Spotify and we say it five times and it doesn't work and we are like, forget about it then. <laughs> but anyhow, it's now. One year from now, it, it, it will like imagine already before I say it, it can play the playlist I want and so on. So, it's growing and getting better. And the other thing, remember, it's based on artificial intelligence. So it will learn from you, okay? So it will say that, hey, last year today you are driving to this place. So that's nice if you uh, were asking Lisa about those things. The nice thing I like is that you say where you are driving, for example, or where you are going. It says the weather and if there's a lot of traffic and those kind of things. So that's, that's one thing. But yeah, it's growing, but right now it's the same as Siri. It's stupid and uh, but in a few years, it will get extremely good. Yeah. In uh, five years from now, all of you will have amazingly good personal assistant with you all the time on your mobile phone. And you can ask anything for this assistant. You can say, do me a market research about TripAdvisor comments and create an Excel sheet and have it ready tomorrow morning. And then you go to sleep and in the morning it's ready. Okay? So this is just a small thing of what's coming and it's important to start uh, using these things.